so um hello guys welcome to my channel my name is anita and today i'm going to be sharing with you how to make this very simple beach cover-up it's a throw-on some of you call it a kimono whatever you call it <coughs> this is it so um this is how it looks like as you can see it goes all the way down because it is long and it is very very super super light so i advise that whatever whatever yarn you're going to be working with it should be lightweight all right just want to take you through how it looks like and these are the sleeves it is long sleeved and that's the beauty of it because it gives you some sort of like comfort so this is what we are going to be learning today just allow me put this aside and um, to start off I'm going to be working with Robin like you can see okay is that more visible yeah it's Robin 100% acrylic and as you can see right here it's a small ball and it is 50 grams all right so I'm going to be using two strands and this is it I've already used part of it so <coughs> It's a little bigger than this, but I've already used part of it. That's why it looks more smaller. So you will prepare your two strands like this. I'm going to be working with a six millimeter hook. And lastly, you'll need some scissors. So I've just written a few guidelines to have us follow them. Given what I remember when I was doing this and it's just going to be very easy to follow so we are going to start off with a knot like this i am going to get my hook and put it into this loop so you should realize i am working this panel all right i just want to make this and this is up the shoulder up to just around below the armpit so i'm going to be working this first part all right so i'm going to chain 16 one please make sure you're not chaining tightly and this is a very simple pattern because it is a very free cardigan you can just like put it on but if you're making for a size large or extra large instead of chaining 16 you're going to chain 20 all right so we are going to chain 16 and that works for small extra small and uh, medium so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right, we have sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we have 16 and now what we are going to do is we are going to chain five one two three four five and um this is five this is the sixth and this is the seventh so into the seventh chain stitch from the hook we are going to work a double crochet like this <coughs> like that so we are going to chain three one two three yarn over skip one and into the next you work a double crochet all right chain three one two three yarn over skip one into the next stitch you're going to work a double crochet chain three yarn over skip one into the next stitch you work a double crochet i want to take it slow so even a beginner can be in position to make this for herself now chain three yarn over skip one stitch into the next stitch you work a double crochet chain three yarn over skip one stitch into the next stitch you work a double crochet 
chain three yarn over skip one stitch into the next stitch you work a double crochet <coughs> sorry my voice is really getting a little hoarse because i have some sort of like cough and flu so uh chain three yarn over skip one stitch into this very last stitch right there we are going to work a double crochet so we have our first row complete and this is from the neck to the end of the shoulder all right so you're going to get back to your loop now here you're going to chain four one two three four yarn over turn your work into this very first uh, chain gap you're going to work a double crochet all right chain three one two three into the next you are going to work a double crochet chain three one two three into the next gap you are going to work a double crochet all right chain three into this gap you are going to work a double crochet <coughs> chain three one two three yarn over into this gap you will work a double crochet chain three one two three into this gap you'll work a double crochet chain three into the next gap you'll work a double crochet chain three into this gap remember we worked six uh five double crochets inclusive of what was here so that makes it six so this is also a whole gap now chain one yarn over into the third chain stitch right there you are going to work a double crochet and this is how it looks like okay so we have our second row complete and I want five rows in total without making any increases. So I am going to chain three. This is now, this will act like our double crochet. So I'll chain three more for the gap, which makes it six in total. Turn your work, yarn over. Now, you know that this was a chain one so if i put um i have to put this in the middle of this all right so that this and this makes a whole gap of this all right so i'm going to work into this gap right there <coughs> all right and i'm going to chain three and into the next gap I'll work a double crochet chain three into the next gap I'll work a double crochet chain three into the next gap I work a double crochet chain three into the next I work a double crochet chain three into the next I'll work a double crochet chain three into the next gap work a double crochet and chain three lastly into this um the third stitch of this last because i told you those three stitches act like our double crochet and this is what we have so literally you have to have one two three four five six seven eight all right eight gaps just like we had in the beginning one two three four five six seven eight all right now we are going to work the fourth row we are going to chain four one two three four turn your work into this very first gap you're going to work a double crochet chain three 
work a double crochet in the next gap chain three work a double crochet in the next gap chain three work a double crochet into this chain three work a double crochet into the next chain three work a double crochet into the next gap chain three work a double crochet in the next and lastly in this one you'll chain three work a double crochet into the middle of the gap and chain one and work a double crochet right there in the third chain stitch So um, I just want to show you so you really get to understand why I start with four chains when I'm starting this other row. Here I counted eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So this is um, these are seven gaps, all of them. So um, this half and this half makes a whole. So if we have this half and this half, we are going to get them together and have a total of eight, just like we had here, eight, and here seven and a half, and then this second half. So that is why it is like that. So in the next, um, in the ne when you're working your next rows, you should know and get to understand the reason as why we start with four chains right here, and then have the double crochet into that very first gap. And then right here, we are just continuing with the very same pattern, all right? so i'm going to work the fifth one two three all right this works as a double crochet and then i'll chain the three that have to work as the gap so one two three turn your work you are going to skip this half because this is a half and into this next uh, whole gap you are going to work a double crochet and then chain three <coughs> Work a double crochet in the next gap. That makes them four, two. One, two, three. Work a double crochet into the next. That makes them three. One, two, three. Uh, into the next, you work a double crochet. It makes them four. One, two, three chains. Into the next gap, you work a double crochet. It makes them five. One, two, three chains. Into the very next gap, you work a double crochet. It makes them six. One, two, three chains into the next gap you work a double crochet those are seven and lastly chain three into this very last stitch in the four in the third chains you work uh, a double crochet in the third chain stitch all right so we have all the five that we need the five rows one two three four five and i already made part of this this is more like my left shoulder piece right there so you should be very keen on where you're going to put your increase because for me this is my left and now this is going to be my right so i want this to be straight like this and then the increase will be on this side because that's where i expect my armpits to go on this side just like i have indicated right here all right so this is where i expect my armpits to be and this is the center piece all right so it has to remain straight so from here i am going to chain two sorry i am going to chain four all right and turn my work into the very first gap i work a double crochet chain three and into the next gap i'll work a double crochet chain three <coughs> into the next gap i'll work a double crochet chain three into the next gap i work a double crochet chain three into the next i'll do the same work a double crochet chain three work a double crochet in the next gap chain three Work a double crochet in the next gap. 
chain three and work a double crochet in the next gap so as you can see right here we started with four chains that means if i were here and i didn't have to make an increase i was going to chain one and then work a double crochet in the third chain stitch but then i have to make an increase so i'm going to chain three and into the third chain stitch i am going to work a double crochet just like that all right okay my yarn is really lagging back so that's what we have okay that's my first increase it may not be visible but i know there is an increment right there so when i make an increase on this row i'm going to make a normal row for the next so i'm going to chain four all right turn my work into this very first gap i am going to work a double crochet and chain three work a double crochet in the next and i'm going to continue chaining three and working a double crochet in the next gap until i get to the end of this row So um, I've come to the end of my row and now I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then turn my work like this. Okay? And now I am going to work a double crochet into this very first gap. And I'm going to chain three and work a double crochet in the next gap. And this is what I'm going to do until I come to the end because now on this end i am going to have to make an increase because i worked an increase of the other previous row and then a normal row so this row has to be a row of increase so in the very last box i'll i'll have to work and i'll have to work an increase now i i am right where i call the end so here i am going to work a double crochet in the third chain stitch right there and now i'm going to chain three and work a double crochet in the very same gap like that and i'll turn my work like this and I'll chain four and then work a double crochet into this very first stitch chain three work a double crochet in the next gap and just continue doing that until you get back right here so chain three work a double crochet in every gap until you have come to the end of the row if i am to count my rows one two three four five six seven eight nine and that's what i indicated right here i have to have five no more rows no more rows without increase and then one increase one row of increase one no more row one row of increase one no more row so you have your nine rows complete now you are going to do the same to make your left because now this is going to be my right that is going to run from my shoulder to uh, under my pit, my armpit, and this is going to be my left. And this is how it has to look like. All right. So when you you when you're done with this row and you have made your second piece, I'm going to come back and show you how to work the back and join the two, and then we can work the body of the whole cover up. So now I have my two pieces complete. And now I am going to get to where I started from and that's right here all right I'll get my hook in there and yarn over pull through all right and now I'm going to chain six one two 
three, four, five, six. So I have my six chains. <coughs> and as you can see, oh, sorry, let's chain four. One, two, three, four. Because I am counting this uh, as a whole gap. So that means I have to chain four and then work a double crochet into this very first gap. Remember, I am working on the opposite side of our foundation chains. So I am going to chain three from here. Work a double crochet right there. Chain three. Work a double crochet into the next gap. Chain three. Work a double crochet in the next gap. Chain three. Work a double crochet into this gap. Chain three. Work a double crochet in the next gap. Chain three. Work a double crochet in the next. Chain three. Work a double crochet right there, which is the last gap. All right. Now I am going to chain one and work a double crochet right here where I ended this row into that very last stitch. So I just make this disappear within. Okay. Now I am going to chain, let me see. I am going to chain 14. One, two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so we have 14 this is more like the neck bridge all right this is going to be where our neck is going to um, hold this cover up from the back so i am going to yarn over and into this very first stitch right there i am going to insert my hook into it and work a double crochet like that chain one work a double crochet into this first gap now on the left piece all right chain three work a double crochet right there chain three work a double crochet right there chain three work a double crochet into the next chain three work a double crochet in the next excuse me chain three work a double crochet just do that until you come to the end of the row like that chain three work a double crochet and now chain one and insert your hook into this very last stitch right there all right get through it and work a double crochet just make this um, cut off yarns disappear within so chain six and turn your work now this is what we have and this is it right here in the book this is more like the bridge now we are going to work the back of the whole kimono so um here you are going to just do the same like we did but let me just show you for this row and then after you will just follow exactly what we did for these um sleeves right here until you get to this point <coughs> So remember, I have to make five rows, five normal rows without any increases. So we have our six chains and into this very first stitch, this very first gap, we are going to work a double crochet and chain three, work a double crochet in the next gap, chain three. Ouch. Work a double crochet in the next chain three. Work a double crochet in the next. Please make sure you are crocheting as free as possible. You don't have to be tight. This is a cover up. It has to feel very soft in texture and it has to be very, very comfy and very light. Chain three, 
work a double crochet in the next gap chain three as you can see we're in the middle of this this was a chain one and then a double crochet so that means we are going to work a double crochet right here all right and now for this whole bridge we are going to work chain three like we did for the foundation skip one stitch into the next you work a double crochet chain three skip one stitch into the next you work a double crochet chain three skip one stitch into the next you work a double crochet chain three skip one stitch into the next you work a double crochet chain three skip one stitch into the next you will work a double crochet chain three skip one stitch into the next you work a double crochet chain three skip one stitch um skip one stitch into the next right there and this is it you'll work a double crochet you see what we have and now chain three this remember was a half of the whole um gap so into this is where we are going to work a double crochet chain three work a double crochet in the next chain three work a double crochet and do that until you get to the end of the row right there I just want to take you all through slow by slow so you all can be in position to understand what I am talking about and what I am trying to make so chain three lastly and into this very last stitch that's in the third chain stitch from the um for the very first chain that we made of the previous row so you have this and i'm um, clearly we are counting this as our very first row this is going to be like um the row that's right on top of your shoulder and now this will just go behind your neck all right at the back of your neck and here it will be on top of your shoulder so this is the first row of our back piece okay and that's now one so we are going to um, chain four <coughs> and turn our work now here when you chain four you are going to work a double crochet in the very first gap and just go ahead making three chains working a double crochet in the next gap like that until you come to the end right here and there you will work one chain and then a double crochet in the very and the third chain stitch of the previous row with which we started with so it work uh, you will work a double crochet right there and that will mean that's the second row of our back piece and i need five rows in total so let me let you guys work your next four rows and once you have your four rows complete, I'm going to come back and show you how to work your increases and then join it all up, work the whole body, work the sleeves, and we have our throw on complete. So um, this is what I have. As you can see. So I am going to work the sixth row of the back and the sixth is going to have an increase. So I'm going to chain... Um, six one two three four five six all right and into this very first gap i'm going to work a double crochet and i'll chain three as usual and work a double crochet in the next gap so just do that chain three work a double crochet in the next gap when you come to the end right here in this gap when you're in the middle of it you'll chain three and then work a double crochet right here at the end that will um make the end of our sixth row which has an increase so let me meet you when you're at the end of this row and then i'll show you what to do 
so like i said in this very last one you're going to chain three instead of chaining one and then working a double crochet in the third chain stitch you will cha chain three and work a, th uh, a double crochet in the third chain stitch so that make marks our very first increase so chain four turn your work work a double crochet into this very first chain gap and then chain three work a double crochet in this very first chain gap how you start the row is how you end it right so continue working one double crochet for this row sorry one double crochet in the next chain gap chain three one double crochet until you come to the end you can see we started with chain one with four chains and then a double crochet in the very first uh, stitch that marks that means uh, we have a one double crochet chain one one double crochet because i told you three chains work as our double crochet so right here you are going to get into this very last gap you'll work a double crochet right there chain one and a double crochet in the third chain stitch from the very uh the very first chain that we made when we were starting the previous row so just do that let me meet you on the next row after this one so now i am right there and this is it so for this next row we are going to be working an increase <coughs> and now I am going to chain six one two three four five six and now into this very first gap right there I am going to work a double crochet like that and chain three work a double crochet in the next gap so as you can see <clears throat> I'm going to chain three work a double crochet in the next gap until I come to the end of the row and right here I'll have a double crochet into this very small gap and then chain three work a double crochet in the third chain stitch with which we started with of the previous row so um I'm going to leave you guys to work this row until the end. When I come back, I'm going to show you how to work the next row. And that next row is with which we are going to join these two together and have our complete um, sleeve, uh, our complete gap for the sleeve ready. So this is what I have. And now for the next row, we are going to stitch these two together. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and get this part of, um, and now I'm going to work a slip stitch right there. Actually, I have to come in from the back. So I'm going to insert my hook right there into the very last stitch of um, the front piece. Work a slip stitch. right now I'm going to chain one because now I have to work a double crochet right there chain one work a double crochet as you can see chain three work a double crochet so continue do continue doing this because now I will have joined these two together like you can see so do that until you get to this part and that's where i'm going to come through and show you how to join now this um this to this all right so just continue working three chains double crochet three chains double crochet when you come to the end right here is where i'm going to show you what to do so i've worked the end of my um row right there now i'm going to get this other part of this and I'm going to work a slip stitch right there into the third chain stitch I'll work a slip stitch so I'll get my um, scissors and cut this and then I'm going to secure it like that so you see now this is what we have 
once you have this part complete you already know now how to work this all the way down so from there you can see it may look short but it's going to expand so if you make a big one it will look very very big so that's how that's how you make the upper part of this cover up so you're going to get your yarn and start from choose where you want to start from so just get it right there insert it into this hook right there you can just start with this and work four chains <coughs> work a double crochet into this very first gap chain three work a double crochet in the next gap so chain three continue working a double crochet into the next when you get here you'll work a double crochet right there chain three work a double crochet right there continue doing the same when you get here, work a double crochet right there, chain three, work a double crochet right there, all right? And continue doing the same until you come to the end right here. So literally, if I'm just to show you what I am trying to mean is, we are now headed to working the body of, the whole body of what? This cover up. So if you can see, this was my underarm. It may not be clear, that's why I like this honeycomb stitch because it literally it gives you a very clean sort of like work. Someone doesn't know where you started from and where you ended. That's the beauty of this whole pattern. And now you can see this is where it was. So you are working this whole body from here to here, from here to here without making any increases. And literally you are going to work that all the way down given the length that you want for the length i made all the way down from there up to here i made 41 rows so you can make 41 rows or even shorter given whichever length that you want for your cover-up you can make that and now let me just take you through how to work your sleeve and after that i'll mark the end of this tutorial Let me just use this now when you get to the sleeve right here you are just going to find your starting point i'll say this is it and i'm going to chain get my yarn through i'm going to chain four no 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 i'm going to chain six one two three four five six now i am in the middle of this double crochet post so in the next double crochet post i am going to work a double crochet so chain three just like we have been doing into this post you'll work a double crochet chain three into the next double crochet post you work a double crochet chain three into the next post you work a double crochet chain three it's interesting because there is nothing that changes about it it's just the normal normal rows we have been making all right so don't be intimidated by it and don't be like oh my god i can't try this out it looks very very uh hard to hard to do it's very simple the very same pattern you have been doing all throughout is what you're going to do all throughout the only uh changes you have to make a uh, places where you have to work an increase and that's all the sleeve as well is very easy to place all right let me just get this get this off <coughs> now this is why i hate this small yarn because it really does tango uh, and it's hard to get out and it starts behaving like this you can waste uh, a whole hour trying to get this off 
but let me just walk through and just show you what to do now uh, you're just going to keep doing that one double crochet right there chain three double crochet into this post chain three double crochet into this post chain three into this post all the way up to right here this is where we joined it from okay so right here you work a double crochet and I'm just going to show you how to join this together with this and have a very good ending then from there I'll let you work the sleeves yourselves let me just come back so um, yes you chain three work a double crochet into the next double crochet post chain three work into this double crochet post chain three work into this post chain three work into the next post chain three work into the next post chain three into the next post you can see we are approaching where we joined them from So now let me just show you this chain three uh, work a double crochet into the next post so as you can see this is now the end of our row so what we are going to do to join the two together is chain one yarn over insert your hook into the third chain stitch while we started pull through your yarn yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so we have joined these together and that is the first row our first row of the sleeve you see this was work running like this and this is running like this so this is where you're going to um, chain six turn your work do the same all the way when you get right here you chain one to join this to this you'll chain one yarn over insert your hook into the third chain stitch pull through yarn yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and that marks <coughs> brings us to the end of our tutorial for the sleeve you are going to work a total of 23 rows all right so from here from right here to right there is 23 rows of length all right if you're working for a size large let me just take you through what to follow when you're working for a size large so it can be very very easy for you to understand i remember telling you right here you are going to work 20 rows sorry 20 chains to start with and make an increase all the way up to there so if you're working for a size large i believe your arm your arm will be longer than this because it is bigger so that means instead of having a total of nine rows right here you should have a total of 11. that means from here after your normal row you're going to work one more row of increase and then one more row one more normal row so you have a total of 11 right there the length from here up to here will stay the same it will be 41 rows the length of your sleeve will stay the same it will be 30 23 rows and the chains in between the um from the one side of the neck to the other side of the neck at the back will stay the same the chains right here are not going to differ they are going to stay the same what you only have to increase is the distance from the neck up to the end of the shoulder and that's 20 chains all right the chains in between for the bridge stay the same the length stays the same length of the sleeve stays the same it's just that that you have to because the more you increase right here the more it's going to give your um your front your centerpiece right here it's going to be a little larger and a little you know bigger because you are a little bigger so that's what you have to follow to go through all the sizes and i believe a size large will be in position to fit a size x large because this cardigan is really in position to stretch out and a size small is able to fit a size medium so that's what you have to follow to make this cardigan thank you for being patient wait for this tutorial follow me on instagram and facebook nita crutchets 
Crochet Duchess on Twitter and um, She Crochet on Snapchat. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.